And we're starting with group one, whose assignment was to become the elite of the mound people. Go ahead, Jason. And so we started with the artifacts, like I said. So like in my household, we have elephant sculptures, like Thai elephant sculptures, like they're like expensive. We have Buddhas, we have like Catholic religious items that fill up the self space. What do you mean by Buddhas? And anybody in the group can answer, but what do you mean by Buddhas? Buddha statues, we have like, we put them like around the house. So I don't know, my mom does it. So she puts them okay, around. but you're the elite of the, I wrote this, you're the elite of the mound people now. What evidence do you have there? What do we find about them? We find out, uh, like they worship like, uh, it's not the sun, but like they just, they worship differently. Like, okay. Um, Mariana or Jen, do you want to add? Uh, Jason, you did a good piece, but you were slightly off in the assignment. Yeah, I think I think I had to connect it more to the lead part. I just I thought I had to, but yeah, I, I knew what I did. All right, I get it. Okay, it's okay. Jen or um, Maria, Marina? Yeah. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Um, what do you want to add? You were part of this group too. Well, anybody. Hello? Yeah. Do you want to talk about what you wrote? Or Marina? I actually. Oh, did. yeah. Okay. Don't, don't worry. She had a, she had a prearranged reason, so she's good. Okay. I'm going to go to group two, and then we're going to fill in some of the gra gaps on group one. Chantal, Gabby, um, Ju Ju Lupi has an excuse for not being here. Let's go. You were the lower class. Um, so for the lower class, I... Do you want to read your first sentence? I thought it was so cool. Okay, hold on. Um, Not that the rest of you didn't have cool first sentences, but hers really struck me. I just said, if I just so happened to be a part of the lower class in the Mississippian community, according to the Powell article, I wouldn't be in the greatest condition health-wise. Okay, so tell us about this. Tell us about your lifestyle, your body size, your nutrition, and your burial. So what they gathered from like uh, dental was they could tell like the diet and like texture of food. So they ate a great deal of mice and like squash, but they didn't eat a lot of meat from what okay. I saw. Somebody help me. Is it is pronounced mice, not maize? Mice. mice okay. Yeah. Okay, keep correcting me when I get stuff wrong. So it also said there was like a great deal of nutritional stress, which could um, like lead to iron deficiency and probably even anemia, but like they aren't hundred percent sure, but that's what they imagine. Um, and I also read that the elite or in comparison to the elite, the lower class had like higher levels of strontium, which basically strontium. Means, strontium, which basically means that they ate way less meat than the elite did. They didn't get a lot of protein. Yeah, and this gets back to the echo side. Chris, are we boring you? Did Speaking of dental, when he yawned, did everybody see the two cavities that have to be treated? Um, anyhow, yes. Um, when they used up their environment and they put so much effort into building their monuments, they used up the game in the immediate area. So only the elite got deer and got other meat. So that's really important. And for the first group, one of the things you would notice that they did have better nutrition and better teeth. Go ahead. And who else is it? Go ahead. And I was just gonna say really quick, I had read that most for most of the time, uh, status was given to them at birth, but certain achievements in adulthood could play like a role in like changing their status. Yeah, and we'll get back to that when we talk about the elite again. Chantal, do you have anything to add? Um, can you hear me? Yes, very well. Okay, I've said non-elite women um, had experienced more trauma than the men. Um, non-elite men are shorter because their childhood diet is not as good as the elites. Okay, they are just a little bit shorter, but it was there. and. In comparison, the elite men had trauma, but non the not elite men. And you're right about the women, they had the trauma. Go ahead. Um, they, the non-elites lived in Wadawan day houses, 
which were made out of like straw and clay and just like natural resources that you could just find, like you don't have to pay for them. Whereas the elite, they got multi-room structures built for them to live in. So they were like living large. And um, non-elites had a weaker immune system when compared to the elites. So they were less likely to like, you know, um, like be able to stand against like, you know, diseases and sicknesses. Okay, good. Um, and let me see, Bobby size and nutrition. Um, okay, group three, which is Marissa, Chris, Korea. Oh, everybody's here. Go ahead. Oh, I can say that in Spanish, total el mundo. Awesome. Take it away, Chris. All right. Um, so as grave diggers, we were expecting to find um, Chris, many... if she said, go ahead, jump off a bridge, would you do that? No, no. She, <laughs> she was talking about this, don't worry. OK. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, but as uh, grave diggers, we were expecting to find many differences in their skeleton samples. Uh, primarily in their heights and the fact that uh, we were looking to find that elite males were much taller than the non-elite males due to their superior diets, uh, but there would be no differences in females. Who and has then, the do who has that noise in the background? And sometimes it's unavoidable, I guess. Do you, Chris? It might be me. Hold on. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. Um, and then also with their dental, uh, just because of their superior diets in elite males, uh, they didn't have as much wear uh, in their teeth than the lower class did, the non elites. Uh, then also, the trauma that was found in um, elite males was due to the fact of warfare, uh, then non elite males who obviously who didn't go to war, but that the females had a less um, trauma because obviously they had more servants to do things for them around than the non-elite females who always did more ordinary tasks around the uh, village and things like that. Then they also found that the elites had stronger immune systems compared to the non-elites. Okay, the only thing, does uh, somebody else in your group want to talk to? We are not done, we are not done, please. <laughs> okay, the okay. one the, <laughs> the one difference was the elite were not specifically taller than the non-elite. But we're getting there. We're getting there, though. But you're cutting our presentation very short. Here. Oh, I thought you said you were done. I just no, said, I said we are not done. I beg of you, please. Ooh, I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have Chris fight you if you don't watch it. Go ahead. Why? Because you're being mean to we me. We have this very organized. Go. Okay. No, so the findings are points, and then it's gonna seem repetitive. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. So the findings that like we were expecting to find. That's all we actually found. Um, but we do attribute this to uh, the fact that we didn't find like the top 5% of like the elites. So we do think that like there would have been closer to our expectations initially, but the, there was similar wear and tear on the molars um, in order to show there was a more similar diet amongst the men, but like women had a much different diet. They really lacked protein and they had more um, like plant-based diet. Um, there were some lesions that at, were found. At, at the risk of raising the wrath of Shania, why do you think the women had a different diet? Anybody in the group? Um, I would. I think I would attribute that to like lifestyle and their role in the actual um, village. Like, I think the men were probably expected to go to warfare, so they felt they had to be fed differently. They needed to be, you know, more. They needed the they needed more of the protein than the women, so they probably just didn't share it that way. More of the food, not necessarily the protein. At the risk of getting the wrath of Shania again, you're right. Yes, go ahead, Marissa. Don't let, right. don't let Shania so, like, interrupt you again. <laughs> there were like some lesions found, like on the skeleton, but it didn't significantly disrupt their growth. That's why, like, there wasn't really a large height difference. Um, Surprisingly, the non-elite males attribute more injuries and trauma than the elite males. However, there is a significant difference when you looked at the uh, the women's skeletons because non-elite women sustain much more trauma and injuries than what elite was, women. Did, what did you say about the elite, the non-elite males and trauma? They attribute more trauma than elite males. Opposite. I thought it was against the expectations that non-elite males attributed more. 
and they blamed this because they thought like the top five percent of their population would have been like the soldiers and they yeah. their bodies weren't found yeah actually though the elite graves showed more trauma because to get to be an elite they had to be warriors successful warriors but everything else you said is or did um, you find minor, some, or did you find some, I could be wrong, but that's what I uh, so I thought they said that the non-elites had more injuries and they said that was because the soldiers would have been in the top five percent and they didn't find the top five percent elites. But they did find the elite graves. I'll show you some pictures in a minute. Yes, they did find the elite graves. Mm -hmm. Um so I said the minor developmental difference, like found with the lesions, um, however, did result in minor encounters with pathogens but the rate of infection was the same between the non-elite and elite. And the lesions found on the skeletons also showed that the diseases were survivable and only affected a small portion of the body. Mm -hmm. They didn't have national health care? No. Okay. Then they should, okay. Okay, is your group done yet or do you have more? No. No, 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 I still have to say something. This is great. This uh, is what I expect. Go ahead. Uh, um, so, uh, one thing they found is that in, in the, oh, the non-elite had a severe iron deficiency, deficiency. Mm -hmm. and I think that's because they weren't containing, um, they weren't consuming as much meat as the elite. Yeah. And, um. And that's right. And I'm, yeah, I, I'm um, sort of scared at Shania, but, and also Marissa but, has a baseball bat, but, um, Yeah. Well, let's not confuse, and you got it right, protein with food. They had some food, but they didn't have protein. So that's that's why you did have the iron deficiency. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm. No, you're right. You were um, making But their health, yeah. But their health wasn't as affected as much. They, mm -hmm. they were, yeah. Okay. Okay, and the last thing that I'm gonna do very quickly is- Should I do a drum roll? No, no, no. Um, so I'm just going to talk about the actual burial sites and then some of the demographics of the samples because those were important. Um, so I thought it was interesting that there weren't too many villages that actually buried people on top of the mounds. A lot of them were like toward going up into the mound or they were inside the actual village area. Um, Why do you think that was? I think it's it's kind of something to do with the top 5% too. I think they might've been at the very top. And then as you come down by, you know, by status is where you would be buried, but not in King and King, the elite were buried in a, a village plaza area, which is necessarily not a mound always. And then the non-elite were buried in their village residential area. So I think they had a more closer knit society, which is something we also seen in like the demographics of the samples that they had, because in all of the other villages except for King, there were like very little children, if any, there were very little women, if any, and there was just overwhelming population of men that they found in the burial site. But when you go to King, it's like men are obviously overrepresented, but there are children. So you know that children were buried there. There were women. So you know that women were buried there. So you can see that they had a more, you know, tight knit society, I think, or it wasn't as, um, the hierarchy structure wasn't detrimental to everybody else's, you know. Yeah, and this is good. And a lot of you wrote about this, um, that not all the sites were similar. And we mm -hmm. shouldn't like say mound people, A, B, C, because there's a lot of variations, particularly. And then the last thing that we just wanted to talk about that we came to the conclusion is that these weren't um, the kind of pre-Columbian societies that you would expect to see because when people talk about these places they make it seem like the the poor people were severely impoverished and they like couldn't live day-to-day -day lives and the wealthy were extremely wealthy at the expense of the non-elite but they don't we don't really see that here we see a more um it's not stratified in a way that affects like healthy living if, well, maybe well physical wealth but not well, in some senses, it does. you're right, mostly, but in some senses, like protein deficiency, it does. But I think you're right. Um, swing it. Are you done? Because I want to connect that. Now. Okay. Taking that last point, 
Oh, I had this out for one of my other classes. This is my cat. Um, you saw that in the other class, right, General Karina? Anyhow, um, the elite could be your cousin or your brother, right? Because for the males, and this is really important, to get to be the elite, not the top five, but the elite, you had to be successful in war, which is why they would tend to have more trauma. Jason, are you an elite or does your shoulder hurt? My shoulder hurts. Did you hurt it in battle? In a way, yeah. Okay, so Jason could be our king. Um, but, you know, somebody in the family can make it to the elite, but their brothers, sisters are still common people. So I think what that last point about close knit makes more sense. The top five were prop present were probably inherited. Um, I think you covered the other things. The elite did have more um, better nutrition, better teeth. They were not noticeably taller, um, but that was good. I'm gonna show you a PowerPoint. First of all, do you like this type of an assignment where you only have to do one and present it? Yeah, sure. it was nice. Yeah, and it's so much nicer not listening to me, right? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. I get that a lot at home too. So let me pull up a PowerPoint now if I have it. And I had it. I'm an elite. I got official word that the what I thought was carpal tunnel, I broke my wrist over the summer. So I'm powerful. You broke your wrist and didn't know that you broke your wrist? Your what? You broke your wrist and didn't know that it was broken? While um, it was broken? I had other things to worry about at the time, such as back and heart, but they're fine now. So now I could concentrate. I go piece by piece. Okay. Here we go. I'm not a tough guy. I'm a whiner. Okay. In general, and I love the point made that they were not all the same. The villages did have local ceremonial centers. They had markets, which meant they were trading and they were trading really far out. They had special homes for the elite and each of, get a musum. Each town had a central ceremonial plaza with more, one or more pyramids. What would that tell you? So the plaza was for what? They were polytheistic. They were what? Polytheistic. Yeah. And temple was important because they were worshiping, in their case, the sun. And again, they were agricultural, which would tend to be the sun. When we get to South America, we're going to see more emphasis on the moon. The pattern is not unsimilar to many um, or the Aztecs, which were about a little bit later, but also um, some of the early groups in Mexico. And trade tells us that they were trading with those people. Maize based economy with hunting. Now, nobody here has worked on a farm, right? It's a pain in the ass, um, but they need a lot of people. If you have so many people building monuments building uh, in war and they're very war made. Uh, so you had to have a large subjugated population. Trade, they had shells from South America, they had shells from the West Coast and you could also tell by the spread of their poverty. Again, and I think you all hit on things on this, the top 5% were inherited. The rest probably were not. And someday they're going to find some of those graves, I think. And then I think that'll be true. Priesthood and sun worshiping. None of you learned about these in any other classes or in high school? No. Yeah. I mean, it's a really widespread 
I almost slipped and used, remember you get five points if I use civilization, not culture or society. Really widespread cultures. I saw this one three years ago, Cajote. Um, Gulf of Mexico, Great Lakes. Largest city north of Mexico. And it was just abandoned. 10,000 to 40,000 people at its peak with more people living outside to do the farming. Um, it was estimated to be larger than any city in the United States until the 1800 when Philadelphia passed it. 14 acres. I think I asked you this the other day. How big is Hoboken? One mile. Yeah. One square mile. Yeah. Much bigger than Hoboken. Trading all over the place. Now it had a decline. And again, we're trying to figure this out still. The land did not, because it's much more flat than other places we looked at, or even in the Southwest, there wasn't as much um, erosion as just overplanting. So this land is pretty much recovered, but they had pretty much farmed out the area in this period. They did have warfare, but they were not defeated by war. This is some of the site. You can see how it's covered because they have an uncovered part of it. They didn't have any written records, but symbols, their pottery, their shell, their wood and their stone. The name actually came from the French. And through DNA, and this is interesting, um, they can't connect them with any present um, first peoples. Clearly they were first peoples, but when they went, they really went. Um, they didn't seem to breed with other groups. So they did deforest, but that's different than erosion. They did have warfare and you can see the walls. Um, Now, if you're in a tight area, and they were, it's easier to transmit diseases. You know about the plague and the, the Black Plague. Really hit cities hard. Probably because the sun god could no longer deliver, and they were starving were the reasons for a collapse and abandonment. Didn't I just say this? I did. I'm repeating myself. Okay, a couple images and then we're out of here. This is the Thunderbird or bird associated with this um, shaman. And we, I showed you this when we did the lecture. Serpent was very important. Think how, this is actually an aerial photograph today. And think how much work they had to do to create the shape of a snake. So a lot of human labor. And these are based with the solstice of the sunset. So again, they certainly had a certain amount of mathematics skill to do this. Flying shaman shell cases with the weeping eye. And last one, and this is what threw me off, Jason, on your thing. This is sometimes mis mislabeled as a Buddha. Looks like just a big fat god that ate too much at the diner. And then they had very colorful things too. So stop sharing. So for those of you that are here today, and I'll save my anger for the others, this was good. This worked really well. Um, we're moving on for next week. I'll put up the assignment later today. Um, anybody got anything else? I have a oh. quick question. Quick question. Yes, and then I have a quick announcement. So in the PowerPoint, you were talking about how some of the stuff they found was attributed to one culture, but later excavations attributed to another culture. When they write textbooks, do they just like discontinue the textbook? They got the wrong information. 
I don't think they were ever in the textbooks. I mean, I mean, I did not hear of them until I was in graduate school. It's like no textbook with them in it at all. No, that's true. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think it's a good question. And really, as we look to the Mayans and the Inca in particular, um, every time I teach the course, they've discovered more of their text. And I think that's the point that the conquerors tend to try to erase. And they might find much more written evidence that they did. They just haven't found it yet. Does that answer your question? Okay, since you've been so good, you don't have to go to class on Monday. Even though it's a, it's a university holiday. But, so if you want to celebrate slave owners, you could consider it that. I would rather let you out for being good. But you do have class on Wednesday and Thursday of next week, okay? Bye. Wait, really quick, Larry. What? I was just going to actually say I'm not going to be able to be in class on Wednesday. Don't hate me. I'm feeling suicidal. I have a question too, what? but it's not related to this. What's kind okay. of is it a private question? Yes. Okay, so everybody, bye bye. But you, Jason, take care of the shoulder. Bye, bye, bye. Let me stop recording.